Good morning and welcome to day 12 of our 21 day prayer and devotion. Uh what a journey it has been so far. We're right in the middle of our journey. Um few more days to go uh, to complete our 21 day devotions. But yet each day God has been speaking to us and I'm sure God is speaking to you just as he's been speaking to me. We've been talking about how Uh, we need to ask god in this new season for new territories ask god to stretch our faith so that we can uh, you know experience a new revelation of god and uh, and of course new hope continue to the finish the race with new hope uh, today i want to just talk on um, something that is really important for us to pause and think through uh, sometimes you know i love um, ourselves to ponder on the goodness of our god the promise fulfilling nature of our god We know our God is a good father and he's faithful to the promises he has given to us. He is ready to move us into a new dimension of faith today. Jeremiah uh, chapter 29 is a very familiar uh, uh, chapter for us and in fact verses 11 is one of the most quoted most favorite verses uh, for us. Let me just read that and then read the following verses because um, we need to read verses 11 in conjunction of the other verses too. This is what verse 11 which we you probably know this for I know uh, the plans I have for you this is that the Lord's declaration plans for your welfare not for disaster uh, to give you a future and a hope we love it we love this kind of promise but there is something else along with that he says you will call to me and come to me and pray to me and I will listen to you you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart i will be found by you the lord's declaration and i will restore your fortunes and gather you from all nations and places where i banished you the lord declaration i will restore you to the place i deported you from there are few things that god asks us to do in order to see his promise uh, in fact his purpose to be fulfilled in our lives our plans and purposes future and i hope for you but for that to happen i want you to call me come to me pray to me seek me and search for me five things he says call me come to me pray to me seek me and search for me then i will restore everything back to you then i will help you to come um, you know gain what you have lost i will bring back bring you back from where you were you have been banished from i will restore you back um from the same place that uh, you were being deported before uh what an interesting um challenge to us isn't it the thing is this however we often imagine god's promise to be somewhere out there we continue our daily routine with understanding that god has given us specific promise but we may not live like he is fulfilling them in our lives today See that's where the difference is for most Christians from those who actually experience the presence pro- promises of God being fulfilled in their lives to the people who don't really experience the promise of God being fulfilled in their lives the difference is this the people who see the promise of God being fulfilled in their lives actually behave and live like uh, as if God is working in their lives and then they get to see God working through them that's the challenge that I want to give you You see, the challenges and discouragements in this world, in your life, must not allow us to dim our hope in God's promises. The promises of God should be as real as, uh, as real to us, as if they were already being fulfilled. Um, Abraham, as today we discussed about Abraham. Abraham, um, talking about Abraham, Paul says in Romans chapter four, verses twenty-one, that Abraham believed. as if god has already fulfilled the promise and that's why god considered him a righteous man you know we usually make excuses either we give up completely on the promise of god or we make excuses for not uh, when when we don't actually see them being fulfilled we make excuses for god's promises when you don't see them uh, you know fulfilled in your life um we say maybe this is not what exactly god meant this is what god meant maybe i was not the right person maybe this was not the right time you know you kind of find excuses as if god needs your excuse uh, for not doing what he promised to do the truth is he's always 
going to do what he promised to do you just have to believe it he enabled me once once i realized that he enabled me to all to have all that i've needed um because um i believe that god is doing what he has already promised in my life some of us may be clinging on to god's promise for a healing some of us may be laying hold of his promises uh, uh, for loved one salvation yet others of us may be um persevering in faith and hope for his promises to to us in our lives ministries and careers or even our dreams i challenge you to keep believing he is a promise fulfilling god let us continue to claim god's promises in prayer reminding him of his promises to us we can make decisions expecting god um um to fulfill his promises that god is already working in our midst because he is our god is not only the maker of promises but he is also the fulfiller of the promises so today do this before you go to office or your work wherever you're going to go to or go about your work at home today make a list of all the promises god made you in the past all of them whatever you remember whatever you have written down in diaries and journals or maybe you written down in your own bible write them down one more time on a paper and go through them before you actually go about and do other works today list them down and go through them ponder on them it will fill you with great hope it will fill you with great delight in fact you will begin to see many of them are already on the way to fulfillment that gives you a new hope new promises seek for new promises from god and he you said he said call to me come to me pray to me and i will listen to you you seek me i you uh, 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 and search for me with all your heart and i will be found by you and then i will restore everything that i promised to you that you have lost uh, i'll i'll give you new things that i have promised to you are there uh, are you are there any struggles that you um struggle to believe in god's promises are there anything um what are um, some decisions you have made based on disbelief in the promise of god uh, you see you can bring all of them to god and ask him to give you a fresh start again with a new promise and he will he is a god who loves when we come to him and talk to him may god um fulfill the promises that he gave you may he give you faith enough to keep looking keep running keep hoping keep believing uh, may god refresh your memory of all the things that he has already promised and doing in your life god bless you